What is going on, you guys? It is your boy, Omzi here. This is the first time ever that I am having another person on the channel, and it is not even only another person, but you guys are seeing her for the first time. It is my mom on the channel. Say what's up. Hey. This is her first time on the channel. She has been seeing me do YouTube for around four years now, and it is for a very special occasion. We are celebrating 1,000 videos on the channel. I have been editing 1,000 videos for over four years now. I don't know how I've done it for so long, but it's been one heck of a ride so far, and I'll continue to do that for however long that I can. But no, we have a special video that I've been thinking about for a while now on how I've been able to do all these videos and what will I be doing for the thousandth video. And for somebody that has never watched anime before ever, I was thinking, okay, bring her in on the channel and she will be seeing the very first episode of my hero academia which i know you've heard me talk about my hero so much and everything i mean it's it's the number one thing on the channel and it's it's one of the top shows in the world for anime and everything at least for your first reaction i'm curious to see what you're gonna think about it at least and like i said she's never watched any anime anything like what what do you usually watch at least in terms of movies and shows and everything what do you usually watch mm, things like all american uh the bachelor mm -hmm. you, love is blind those types of things you can kind of see at least what she kind of watches Ob obviously she's not like i mean all, all the stuff that we watch and everything but she's more on the reality type you, you watch a lot of lifetime too i do watch <laughs> But no, this is our very first video and everything. So this is just a really kind of thing where I've been thinking a lot for what I was going to do. And I thought this would at least be kind of cool for the very first time because this would be the first time in a long time that I would have uh, another person doing a video with. So it's going to be a little bit refreshing, especially in the new kind of environment at least. So at least with that any wise, it's going to be interesting in how it's going to look. But no, we're getting into the very first episode of My Hero. I have probably seen this episode probably six seven times however many because this is the this is, I, i've caught a lot of people up with this show a lot of people and i mean it's it's my year academia so you guys know what's up but with that being said we are getting into the very first episode and yeah we're basically going to do an entire commentary with this seeing her first reactions with this what she thinks about the characters also wanted to mention that we are watching the dub not the sub because especially with her first time that i'm not going to kind of throw her into like all the japanese subtitles and everything and just like everything at least with the sub so it's going to be easy dub is at least good with my hero so that's at least good so with that being said we are getting into the 1000th video on the channel and let's get straight into it if you guys are new to the channel and you guys like my reaction like subscribe comment down below and if you guys when you notify and release those videos make sure to smash that notification bell but guys me and my mom for the very first time Let's get right into the very first episode of My Hero. Why are you being so mean? You're making him cry, Kachan. If you keep on hurting him. So that I'll, I'll kid's name is Azuku in the show. And he's clearly getting bullied. You want to pretend to be a hero? You don't stand a chance without a quirk, Deku. Quirks and everything are powers in this show. They're termed for powers. This is a very superhero type world where everybody has quirks, but they'll explain it. The world became a superhuman society with about 80% of the population possessing some uncanny ability. So 80% of the Our world is at least like, like this. From comic books. Was born like this? Was born like this, yeah. So there are still people out here that don't have powers. Why weren't they born with powers? It was an um, at least Love plot armor. Him. Yeah, just, yeah. Percentage. You know what happened? Just some amateur. Stole someone's bag and then got himself cornered. A quirk like that and he's just a petty thief. I got held up. Trains out. Another villain. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Getting at least a little bit of realism in this show, too. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm noticing more than I thought. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good! So at least with De like so his name is Deku, which you'll eventually learn. Heard that name before? Yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting, uh... He gets the name from a person you'll see in the episode. But at least in here, he's a he's a fanboy for real. He knows a lot. Like can instantly look at somebody and know, oh, I know who that is. Assault, robbery, and the illegal use so of powers during villains. rush hour. Time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You are the incarnation. There's not like oh one bill. Like there could be. There's 
large amounts of villains in the show, large amounts of heroes. So at least with that, and she completely stole his move. With overwhelming public support, heroes found an official place as peacekeepers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just noticed that now, my God. The best for, well, she's definitely got the looks and attitude to be a crowd favorite, and her quirk is really showy, but it'll be kind of... Uh, yes. talking about her? The yeah. The, 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 the yeah, lady? Yeah. What's that, bad boy? What, you who is that? Over there? Just a random yeah, citizen that eventually came in as a cameo, but just yes. somebody. More than anything. Looking. I could pass out some career aptitude tests, but why bother? <laughs> no, you all want to go to the hero track. So everybody wants to become a hero because they all have quirks, incredible quirks. No power usage allowed in school. Get older Those yourself. are their um. Hey, teach. Mm -hmm. Don't let me in with this bunch of losers. I'm the real deal, but these guys will be lucky to end up as sidekicks to some busted D-lister. <laughs> His name is Bakugo. Oh boy. Go, he is on. definitely one cocky You've son got of a gun. Test results. I ace all the mock tests. I'm the only one at this school who stands a chance of getting in. I'll end up more popular than All Might himself. All Might is the number hero one hero of, of Japan. People all across the world will know who I am. And it all starts is he liked by high. people? Oh, yeah, Midoriya. Don't you want to go to UA too? He is liked. He does have a long arc. Midoriya? You're kidding, right? Midoriya is his last name. Well, actually, they got rid of that rule. I could be the first one. Listen up, Deku. You're even worse than the rest of these damn rejects, you quirkless wannabe! You really so think he they does not have like a power. you in when they could have me? He's the only... He, no he doesn't? Yep, over. he doesn't. Really? I'm not trying to compete against you! You gotta believe me! It's just that I've wanted to be a hero since I was little. So he doesn't, or the other guy? The he doesn't. Like the green, yeah, he doesn't. Zuko doesn't. You'd never be able to hang with the best of the best! you die in the exam! Bakugo has an explosion-type power. Zuku. Hey, get back here! Someone stop that monster! Yeah, one heck of a villain. Remember when we didn't have to worry about randos with quirks all the time? Seriously, there's no stopping them. Yes, there is. <laughs> Can you kind of spot who that is? Character one? No, he was just shown. That is. That is All Might. Man, that fight from this morning is all over the news. Better write some notes down before I forget anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you think you're doing, Deku, but we're not done. What you got? His diary? Huh? Don't tell hero me analysis for the how future. To be a hero. That's so pathetic. <laughs> He's delusional. <laughs> yeah, real funny, guys. Yeah. Just give it back. Ah, <laughs> oh, and they burned it. <laughs> That's so mean. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm only laughing because I've already seen their where they are now. But look back on it. Ugh. Here's a little word of advice, nerd. Mm. Don't even think of applying, or else. That's just sad. It's sad when he can't do anything when he doesn't have any powers. He finally gets it. He'll never be a hero. Better to find out now get later, I guess. Um, it's once they're born. Something wrong. Bakugo was something else back in the first season, guys. You guys know what I'm talking about. That idiot. You can't go around telling people to kill themselves. What if I really jumped? What would he do then? Which is also true. No, oh, yeah. My very. Damn koi. <laughs> Jerk. See at least how much he wants to. Oh, this is. Mm. Come on, mom! It's computer time. Ready? Faster! Uh, let's go. Jeez, I think you've added ten thousand views to this one yourself. <laughs> like a little you. I yeah. Really like it. I think it's scary. You guys already saved a hundred people at least, and it hasn't even been ten minutes. This is this is crazy. I can't believe it. 
carrying like four to five bodies on his back. Yep. So that's who he looks up to. And that's what everybody looks up to. So that's what he he wanted to be All Might so bad. Yeah, I, it, some people are born with a quirk, and then some eventually get it. Sorry, kid, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> what powers do you and the boy's father have? Nothing too special. I can float small objects towards me, and my husband breathes fire. They're useful enough, I suppose. Izuku should have already manifested these <laughs> yeah. quirks or a combination of both, but after viewing his x-rays, I don't think he's going to. People with powers have only one joint in their pinky toes. Their bodies have evolved into a more streamlined version of the mm -hmm. human form. You can see here that Izuku has two joints in his pinky, like roughly 20% of the population. Only 20% of the ones that don't have power. research that's available, it's safe to say your son isn't going to develop a quirk. That's tough hearing one at that age. Fear not, citizens. Hope has arrived because I am here. See that? He wants to There's be just like him. Yep. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Typical mom. Aww. Do you think I can be a hero too? I'm sorry, Izuku. I never thought I that something animated could um, be so um, Mom, emotional. That's yeah. not what I needed you yep. to say. Couldn't you? That's see? the whole part of anime. You see so many different things in anime, so many emotions, things, and it could look beautiful. I made a decision that day. No matter what anyone else thinks, I have to believe in myself, and I'll keep smiling just like him. <sighs> Villain from earlier that they did not catch. You'll make a perfect skin suit for me to hide in, kid. I can't breathe. Grab all you want. My body's made of fluid. So he can't do anything. Thanks for the help. You're a real hero to me, kid. I didn't know he was in the city. I gotta get out of here fast before he tries uh, to kill He's trying to kill him. That's his suit that he wants to do. Oh! Have no fear, you are safe. That's the Almighty guy. Oh, the Almighty guy. <laughs> yeah, All Might. The amount of force. He usually yells a lot of it, like, of the U.S. states. What do you mean? Like, Texas Smash. Oh, he yells oh. that and then does that. He even does, like, Manchester Smash. And he does a lot of different states and everything. But, yep, saved by his mentor. Hey, wake up. Hey. <laughs> Thought we lost you there. <laughs> Looks like you're moving around all right. Sorry about that back there. I didn't mean to get you caught up in my justicing. Usually I pay more attention to keeping bystanders safe, but it turns out this city sewer system is pretty difficult to navigate. <laughs> and he's in shock. He's just oh yeah, I mean, he never... His favorite. <laughs> yep. I'm the most amazing hero in the entire world. All Might, the real thing in the flesh, standing right in front of me. He's literally probably All Might's number one fan. Honestly, on this planet. Holy crap, I gotta get an autograph. I've got a pair on here somewhere. Huh? Please sign my notebook. <laughs> <laughs> you already did. <laughs> Thank you so much. This will be an heirloom. A family treasure passed down for generations to come. <laughs> uh -huh. well, How did he I'm know that the so he needed his help? 
Perfect place at the right time. He can't go yet. There are still so many questions I have to ask him. Oh, he's charging up. <laughs> he could fly, too. Yeah, he was launching himself. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing? Let go, I love my fans, but this is too much! That's a good point. <laughs> I just have a lot of things I want to ask you personally. You're my all-time favorite hero, oh my please. Okay, okay, I get it. Just keep your eyes and mouth shut. <laughs> Not a very smart move. Bang on the door for a while. Someone will let you in. Now, I have to go. See you on the flip side. He's leaving. No, wait, not yet. Well, I mean, he put him down. I don't have any time. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry, kid. It's not going to happen. Mm. Then again, why the reason he's also leaving, you'll see, too. Sometimes I do feel like I'm a failure. Like there's no hope for me. But even so, I'm not going to give up. Ever. Is it possible to become a hero even if I don't have a quirk? Couldn't ask a better question. I'm a normal kid without any powers. Could I ever hope to be someone like you? To a better person than himself it's all might which people can still become heroes they could be firefighters police officers anything in this world meeting all might was a dream come true a real miracle standing in front of me was the hero i'd idolized most of my life i didn't realize it at the time but that chance encounter would change the course of my future Literally at the end of the episode, yeah. So I thought they would show it in the end on why he was bleeding, but I'll at least say it. But no, very first episode of My Hero, you watching it, and we'll give the full thoughts at the end. So the reason why he is bleeding and everything was in the next episode, he explains that he got into a gigantic big fight with a main big bad named All For One and that's just at least his name all for one so with that he got very badly injured in his rib cage slash stomach area and that makes it very very hard for him to remember when you saw him like powering up like yeah. in the store and everything yeah. that kind of skinnyish looking version is his actual body like his his actual form to go into superhero mode he goes like that how you see on screen so now because like he has to like you know when people are they actually mentioned this in the episode where they're like swimming and they have to like hold in that's basically him the entire time he is holding in that form but since he got badly injured in around his rib cage area and everything it's harder now, it's harder now and it's it really affects him so he can't be all might that much like how he usually used to before he fought all for one on that time. Does he make himself um, like big and buff himself or does something um, make him? Um, I, th I think he does that himself. I don't think there's kind of like a thing, cause I know you were asking like, oh, how did he know that Uzuku needed help and everything? I think it was really much right place at the right time. I don't think they ever said in this show that he had some sort of like spidey sense or kind of like certain sense that somebody was in danger. And no matter what, giving him that freaking Texas smash, it was or like in order to defeat him. But for at least the first episode and your first time seeing anime, because I know you said in here something that was honestly really kind of good and kind of re resembles anime in general. You never thought on how something that's animated could like affect you a lot emotionally that is what anime does and anime could do a lot for people that could be a lot like real like a lot of realism a lot relatable like a lot of stuff they have so many different types they have something called slice of life where it's basically just real world type aspects there isn't kind of like oh where in here it's called shonen so you have a protagonist that wants to be the very best at something whether it be the best dad being the best wizard like wants to be king of something wants to be the best hero for instance or just that has a simple goal uh in the character's mind of what they want to be at the end so that's at least what shonen is but slice of life is just kind of like realism just like just normal day in life and isekai which is one like oh you take a random character in a random world like just in a normal world and transport them to a different universe like in a game style universe or anything and they have to evolve that 
there's a lot of different things at least for those in anime that are at least in, um that they show out here but no it's it's very beautiful uh to see so many different art styles and the music is one thing as well that they make it so good and no it's good so do these episodes go like back to back so like a part two or like do they continue keep they do the story continue oh yeah yeah okay. they do they show like a little kind of couple like cut like a couple minute recap of what happened and then they go into it okay so you're um, looking forward to that oh episode. oh yeah that's really much kind of what the first episode of an anime does where like they give you basically everything of how this world kind of is and season one still does a lot of good stuff it introduces you to the kind of core premise for this entire show and it does make you want to keep watching it does make you invested to keep doing this and everything um or just to keep it being invested in the show but at least for your first time with me talking about my hero academia and finally seeing the first episode what are your overall thoughts i like it mm. i i liked it i liked it that it was um it was kind of like real life mm. i think i'm not into like the superhero oh. type things but i feel yeah. like i could watch something like this mm. um because of how a little bit real like realistic yes, it is because, yeah yes yes because it's yeah that's for sure. But I did always wonder, I guess growing up and you watch cartoons, mm -hmm. you just assume there's no st no storyline. I think if mm. something is animated, it's just not going to be good or- Like or, simple cartoons and everything, yeah. where, they're, where they only last like uh, probably around 15, like they have 15 minute episodes actually for every single thing. And it's just like one-offs every time. That's how at least cartoons back then yeah. used to be. Where there's w no storyline. So in here, since this is anime specifically, they have something, and I even mentioned it here, called manga, where it is the actual, you see all the mangas up there and everything. Mm -hmm. Those are the stories. Those are the chapters that the, like, that the authors draw and they write the stories for it. That's how continuous it is. They have volumes for that. So it is the anime's job in order to do an adaptation and to do visually for the story which continues with seasons and everything so that's how that normally does so with here yeah it's an entire series everything is all episodic which is good because you get something called like story arcs and storylines for all these different characters and character arcs too your first impressions of bakugo in the in the first episode of seeing him wait which one is he again <laughs> bakugo is the bully he, he's the blonde haired kid that was telling Deku oh, that he couldn't the cocky one the cocky one yeah yeah mm -mm. you didn't like him <laughs> no, didn't like him at first glance no, so that is and chris's favorite character in the show Why? um you'll see if like if you hopefully event he changes oh yeah he does he's probably maybe i think at least in with me he's probably on and you're gonna be surprised he is my second favorite character in the show from how he does originally when i was uh when i was first watching the show two seasons in i kind of didn't understand why people liked him but yeah. then when season three and then everything else started going about the chemistry and the dynamic between deku and bakugo eventually started to grow and they started to understand each other and make themselves better at least at first glance i know you could see like oh he's cocky he's so like, did something like make him that way um did something happened that made him that way is that what well at least in here how like because i mean you even got to see it a little bit he aced all these tests and like oh he's presenting himself as the best and everything at a very young age he was presented like like with his powers and everything like oh look at that kid bakugo like oh like he had his own little kind of click around him that would kind of like back him up and everything he would basically be like the top kid like growing up like that was like oh the kid that would have the most potential to be great in the future and everything so that's why he's so cocky but at least with how he feels towards deku he doesn't really hold the fathom of like man this kid needs to learn his place and this kid has like so much high hopes like how could you be great if you don't have a quirk and like even he just hates the fact that like he's still looking to be something where he knows that he can't be what he desires to be mm -hmm. at least like first glance Makes and everything sense. but no I, I at least with uh izuku's character thinking that like oh i can see her being like i could see you kind of grasping on to izuku where he is a fanboy he doesn't have a quirk and he just has the desire and the drive to just say, I don't care what anybody says. I just want to be like the best. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best to be the best and just try to become a hero. Yeah. I liked that at least with you. You got to see kind of the beauty and everything. At least feel a little bit emotional. Uh, at least because there's 
so many emotional moments at least in this show and everything and it's just great to see so your first time at least seeing animation and at least seeing all this because this is the first time like a like japanese anime what is your thoughts at least visually and how like the anime style looks and everything it is very different it's there's so much going on mm. i feel like there's yeah a lot going on everything just looks much more advanced i guess more advanced. than it would yeah. than it would than i thought it would look yeah and i mean like i said you've and never it's easy to follow i thought yeah. it was going to be very difficult to follow usually there are some episodes depending on shows that the first episode will kind of get you like just oh that's what we're doing in this episode oh this happens or it's just this is a show that no matter what all of you guys love but it's a show that at least for the first episode it's simple on its premise it's like oh this kid doesn't have a power and he just happens to be saved by his number one hero and the number one hero in the whole country and now he has this opportunity to at least ask him hey is there anything that i can do in order to become a hero and to just keep going really much because a lot of these kids probably out here like if one baka was saying like oh you should just not apply and save yourself or even just kill yourself <laughs> god forbid but a lot of these kids sometimes when we get this just give up but at least with deku he doesn't end up giving up and what eventually happens in the show is pretty much self-explanatory on how what happens. Yeah. Um, now, of course, I'm curious. <laughs> I bet you will probably want to start watching it now, at least like the, as the episodes now. go on. I'll be here watching. <laughs> so, in Japan, are these villains and um, heroes? Are they like comparable to our Superman and Spider-Man and that? That kind of thing so at least with this surprisingly horikoshi who is the author of this series he has drawn a lot of inspiration from spider-man like a lot of inspiration especially for like oh he starts out powerless and everything and then oh he like eventually in the show he eventually in the show he gets a power that's all he say but he gets some sort of power i don't know if i'd say there's a lot of at least like, oh, I couldn't see, like, Superman, you could kind of maybe see that, at least in All Might, a little bit. At least with Superman, I never even honestly thought of that the entire time. But at least there's a character named Saro. He's a person that will be in um, uh, Zuku's class and everything. He legit, his uh, power is he has tape on, like, his arms and everything, like, that controls in his suit. And he can just go like this and thwip the tape to stick onto a wall and swings just like mm -hmm, spider-man mm -hmm. literally exactly yeah. like spider-man is basically what they do for the character and everything okay. so there is a lot of inspiration that at least horikoshi takes from that but now at least with you seeing the first episode i guarantee you probably at least want to are, are curious to at least see where the show goes now at least pater like in terms of like watching something are you really much of a reader or just I'm like not. no you're not I'm, no 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 <laughs> Cause I know, cause I know, I know my aunt is and everything, at least with mm -hmm. reading, she She's probably would reader. love it. I am not the reader. So you're more of a watcher, yes. at least. Yeah, absolutely. So in general, is this a show, like even in, in general, cause obviously, at least in terms of anime, do you think you'll ever see yourself getting into something like this? Or at least just anime in general? Maybe. I'm the type where you really have to sit me down mm. and make me watch something. Mm. And once I watch it, then I might, that's when I know if I'll get into it or not. Now I'm so curious mm -hmm. on um, the mean guy. <laughs> Bakugo? Yeah. I know. He, oh, yeah. there so, you go. So at least so. you're kind of interested in his kind of arc and how he kind of becomes yeah. in the show and later. Which, that's cool, at which least. might get me to watch a couple more. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, <laughs> there, there you go. So, I mean, no matter what. what this is all on Hulu, all on Crunchyroll. Like this, this show is everywhere and including with the dub and everything. All the actors do an amazing job. And of course, Rico Fajardo, the person that I met at Colossal Con voicing Lemillion, he does an incredible job in this show as well. He is my favorite character in the show. But yeah, at least for this, they, they have so many different shows out there that you can easily get into or might be up in your alley. I think like, so like, I know you were saying like, oh, you're not probably into the whole superhero type thing. There are a lot of like slice of life ones that you'll probably love. And I'd even say like Mob Psycho, even though it resolves around in a world where there's like a lot of tell, like po power wise, at least with some people, but it's a real, real down to earth story. It's a story where a kid can't technically control his powers and he, he goes 100% crazy when he can't control him and everything. And the whole kind of premise is that he just wants to ask out his crush. He he wants to ask out his crush, Subomi, and just can never 
be able to have the courage to do that because of his powers and just like all that nervousness and there's other characters at least in the show i guarantee you'll freaking cry over the show i don't know how i'm ever going to <laughs> pronounce any of those names That's... see wait, i to be honest like google translate but no it's <laughs> Like I said, I mean, this was the very first anime I ever got into, and it was definitely a slow start back in 2020 when COVID happens, and I just loved all the shows that I've gotten into, at least with it, and still being 1,000 freaking videos later, still going strong, and with so many shows right now, like, this this series is on its seventh season. Wow. Seven seasons of this, so that is around at least 120, 130 episodes. Wow. Yeah. So at least for people, they, they could get this done average of, let's say, a couple weeks to maybe three weeks. They could get the show entirely done. Depends on how much they binge it. With how you feel about All-American, I guarantee if this show is up your alley, I guarantee you'll probably won't stop watching. But to celebrate 1,000 episodes, I'm glad we were able to just sit down and watch the very first episode of My Hero Academia, see her very first reaction to anime. And I'm glad that it kind of hits you where I kind of wanted it to hit you with like emotional aspect and everything. That's really much all it is. So no matter what, thank you guys for watching our reaction. So I don't know if we'll probably have this in the future or if we're gonna do maybe do videos together in the future, depending on whatever. Just let us know. We'll probably make some happen. Just let us know no matter what. This is her very first time on the channel. So just yeah be nice guys be nice so no matter what thank you guys for watching our reaction if you guys are excited for the future of the channel and you guys like the channel like subscribe comment down below and as always my name is omzi and i am out